hi hello this is anup here and in this video what we are going to see is a new video editing app which microsoft included in their windows 11 insider builds yes i am talking about clip champ and this is a built in app video editing app actually uh, get installed in all the versions of uh, windows 11 and this is i i think Microsoft acquired this clip champ um, a few few months back or back in 2021. And that is the reason behind including this video editor app into the Microsoft build itself, Windows 11 build itself as um, first party app. Okay. So let's go into the clip champ and see how it is working. So this is this is a web based application. As you can see over here, the web links. This is. This seems to have a better. Windows native interface uh, by the look of it, but it is basically a web based application, right? OK, so when you for launch the clip champ for the first time you will get a login screen you need to put in your login details over there you can use hotmail outlook or your gmail account to log in to clip champ okay and you can connect to facebook etc right from from the clip champ oh, settings if you go to the settings you can see all those things right and you can change the email ID, etc. if you want. OK, and there is the option to deactivate the clip jam, etc. OK, you can change the name except over here. So that was about the settings and in the home page, you can see search templates option is there. Tech option if I say tech. Um, OK, this is this is essential set of blogging and the top. these are the these are the options available when I search for tech. OK, so if I click on this, this is a video where they explain how to do the tech videos, etc. Right tutorials. OK. Uh, so if you want to check for Facebook template videos, you can click on this and you can see like, OK, these are this is this is the. Um, these are the video templates or. These are the tutorials for creating Facebook posts, etc. OK. Um, and in the home page itself, you would be able to see the. Your videos which you already kind of worked on and you can search for your videos. You can search for the reason videos, etc. OK, and uh, this help button is also always helpful right? to find out um, or to send mails actually to the support team. OK, so uh, <laughs> even though the mail ID is a bit weird, uh, it is sending a mail to intercom hyphen mail dot com. I don't know what does that mean if you click on this. OK, uh, which email ID is this? I don't know, right? The support email ID uh, probably that that will get sorted out soon because it is all part of Microsoft now, right? Clip Champ is part of Microsoft now, hopefully. OK, now let's get into the uh, in the home page. You can see all these templates over here. YouTube template if you want to uh, have a look at YouTube template, right? And you can see you can see this how how the people are kind of. Uh, using this okay how we can create the videos etc okay and there's option to upgrade there's option to create videos up here create a video right? before going into create a video option I click on upgrade okay this is important to understand so the default free version which is available in microsoft windows 11 is 480p export and you don't have access to any cloud storage unlimited audio stock or unlimited video stock brand kit 
right those templates won't be available if you are in a free version okay if you are using uh, the the premium version or platinum business version or creator version i think it's changed okay <laughs> uh, when i when i wrote a blog about this this was business and this was business platinum okay uh, and the video template um unlimited video stock got removed somehow okay that was interesting so i i can link my post blog post in the description of the video so that you can refer to it the previous plan now it has changed actually it pay yearly is 124 that's yeah that's okay even though there are i use win wondershare film filmora wondershare regularly for editing the videos um in that scenario filmora is having a lifetime license uh, agreement for their uh, their products but you need to purchase uh, video template bundles and uh, audio stocks etc right extra elements video elements from uh, their store and that that for that you need to pay extra amount or extra money right so i am not sure how how to compare both but for the social media kind of use if you want to create a quick video for social media instagram youtube clips or facebook twitter i think free version is more than enough for you okay and if you are a creator then probably you should go with the business version uh, in clipchamp okay that's that's good so let's let's go down close this okay close this and go to templates right so in the templates you can see the templates options are available here and different templates options are available here and create a video option as there that is where we need to um, we need to create the videos and this is the main page brain of the video editing software uh, users will spend most of their time in this editing url or editing window right so this is also a web based thing and uh, this is rendering from their server actually right so this is not a normal windows 11 application where the data is stored in in your system locally okay. uh, probably it is cached in the system and then going to the web i don't know how the architecture works but and if you ask me a uh, pwa is kind of offline version of pwa is also supported but i have not tested the offline version of pwa uh, for the clip champ so for example if i want to edit the videos when i uh, i am in a flight right and i don't have internet then is that possible to edit videos in that scenario okay so oh, i don't know about that so probably i will cover that in a different video later uh, but for this video we will see the basics of editing okay so this is the editing section where you can add the videos for example if you want to add one video let me find out a video uh, that i can add okay i'm going to i'm going to add um namaste techies video over here and let's see how this works right so i have added the video using this plus button okay click on that plus button and 
drag and drop your video over here okay, and you, if you want you can on the switch on your recording etc i will cover that in a bit but let's see the video first and this is the place where you have to drag and do drop the video file so that you can edit it right so you can go through like this and edit it okay so that is what we can do with this particular video okay so what i'm going to do is basically um trying to trying to fine tune this um, video a bit first of all i need to kind of to go into deep level of editing you need to kind of zoom into the particular section okay so for example if i zoom in uh, you can see uh, zoom in is working okay <laughs> okay now what i'm going to do is i want to probably cut this uh, cut this over here for example then you need to use one of these functions okay first you need to zoom in and if you want to zoom out you can do that zoom in and zoom out are one of the my favorite options in different video editing tools which is very useful if you want to fine tune some section of the video right edit out some section of the videos you can do that and zoom to fit is also a good option if you lost in video editing and you don't know where your uh, particular editing is happening right so uh, you can zoom zoom to fit and you can use zoom to fit and you can use that okay so for example if i if i go over here and i want to edit out uh, some things here then i will use any of these functions split split or cut is one function and i want to edit out this video so i initiated the cut here and then i want to edit this so then i want to kind of delete this portion okay so that will automatically delete and then you can link the videos together okay so so you can see if you zoom in you would be able to see there is uh, there is any gap or there's any black screen or something like that right so i don't see anything over here so it is good the the cut worked fine i i feel nothing specific over here now there's an option to duplicate so for example if you want to repeat something you can uh, a particular clip again and again so you you can click on this small clip and you can click on duplicate that will ensure the duplication is done and so i have duplicated so for example if i click on this duplicate button and if i click on duplicate button over here the duplicate of that clip is going to create at the end of the video uh, all the clips end of all the clips right so if you want to drag that clip to other side near to the other clip over here you can do that like clicking on the button and you can do that it didn't work for this time probably but you can do that normally okay so i can do something like this also for example so i have create a i have taken that clip from that part of the screen and to this part okay now what i can do is i can and probably see there are there are two screens i can drag this down and i can i can use this as a picture in picture if you want for example right see this is this is a video original video and the other one is 
running on picture in picture mode so that is also can be done so see this is also can be done okay and if i try to include insert the, the video over here i don't know what will happen see now that video is inserted into this the main timeline of the video editing software okay so you can see over here it is it, it is in the same mode so if you want to change that get out of that uh, you need to stop it right from running if you are rendering it you need to stop with it and probably it's not stopping okay give me a sec see if you stop and click on the video um clip you can see the option fit to sender uh, or there are crop to fit right so these options are available and picture in picture video is one thing i like for some of the some of the video editing scenarios right so if i if i do picture in picture again i select the downside over here if i want to keep that or if i want to keep it in somewhere else for example this side okay the, what i did is i i created picture in picture for both the clips that is why it is showing like this now let me undo it by clicking on this button and i can redo it again right so that is the use of undo and redo button over here so that is very useful i would say okay so let's let's go back and click on this one okay i i hope i need to click on over here and then probably i need to go over here and see how to come out of picture in picture or top left how to make it top left right so how to make it i don't know top right right that will go over here picture in picture so we so the split option cut option duplicate option we have seen we so undo right a uh, how to do undo how to do redo how to zoom in zoom out zoom to fit all these options we have seen okay now what do you need to what do you need to understand over here Th these are very important options and this is also important right uh, you can see the preview and the, i like the preview screen over here because it is um, very easy to navigate and, and, and understand what is going on and the first th there is a, there is a lot of options over here also above right um, timeline if you select a particular timeline in the video or particular clip in the timeline it, this all the layout transformation filter will happen only for that particular video clip okay so for example i have selected this one or be, for better visibility let me select uh this one the bigger one okay and then i'm going to layout we have seen already right uh, this is picture in picture layout which we have seen already we have changed that to left top left right etc etc so now transform transform is the option to rotate okay auto fill crop to fill rotate if i see see this is what i mean by rotate so this option is good in some scenarios and you can adjust the opacity of the video screen as well right so to give some importance or some uh, highlight scenarios right if you want to highlight only the picture in picture or something like that you can do that oh, i talked about opacity over here you can change that just the um, opacity of the screen dim light bright etc it will only change for the clip which you have selected here from the timeline video editing timeline over here in the uh, where my mouse is at the moment okay 
So the the picture in picture clip, this one is not changing. Okay, not going to change if I change the opacity of the bigger screen. Okay, so I'm going to keep it as it is, and now I'm going to select filter. Filter is also a good option. I like the filter options, right? Uh, inst for the Instagram videos, uh, redial. I, I see some redial option and some interesting options like redial, right? <laughs> see how the redial will look and how how that will be. So, for example, let's let's play this to see how crazy it is, right? <laughs> This is the redial. Okay, I don't know. Maybe it is not for the technical videos, but it is for some other uh, video formats. Uh, redial option is also useful. Warm tone, black and white. You can make it black and white. You can make it full blur. And fill. What is this? Vertical, right? So this will start vertical move. Actually, you see. <laughs> uh, this is also in, an interesting option okay. uh, in the video editing filters. So you can play around with filters and these are all free, right? Uh, for this, you don't need to pay anything extra. This is a part of the free version of Clipchamp. Okay, adjust color, adjust color. Uh, let me get out of the filter and I will say, unfiltered right that is the default one now let's go to the the adjust color option right sometimes i expose uh, exposure saturation all those things are very helpful uh, i don't want to i i don't like changing the temperature actually but uh, contrast is also some fine for the black themes etc and reset option is always good Okay. And uh, other option is fade in and fade out, right? This is also option, a very interesting option in terms of changing the clips or transformation for the transformation of the video. So this clip cham video editor is giving you all these options for the free version, right? The only challenge is 480p export quality is available. That is that is fine for many scenarios, right? Um, unless you are a creator or something. Okay. So we are a lot. We all are creators, but I'm talking about professional creators who create videos every day. And uh, if you have million subscribers, etc., then I don't know whether this would be a um, <laughs> tool for you. But most of our scenarios, but 80% of our scenarios, normal users use create videos only for some fun stuff, right? So that's, that's useful. These options are useful. And you can speed up the videos if you want, right? Uh, you can speed up. When you speed up, you can see the timeline. That clip is gone. That does that is that become very small, right? See, that is done. <laughs> the entire video is done. Okay, so speed up. And if you slow it down, the the size of the clip increase so every click will be very very slow right over here this is the picture in picture you can see that is a normal speed but over here you can see uh, each mouse click is very slow because we are in picture in picture right so okay so that is speed i'm going to keep it as normal right the, the uh, I'm going to undo it and undo, undo, undo. Okay, so now it it is normal. Back to normal. Okay. Now uh, audio. This option is interesting to increase the audio, right? And I like the separate audio option over here. If you want to give an voiceover to correct some 
things which you said, then you can separate the audio from the video. Now the video audio is attached to this video, right? In my example. So if I want to separate it, I can do that. Click on the separate and over here there's a status bar. It shows the audio is getting separated. Right. And it will be available here. And it is still going on and it will automatically get downloaded after the separation right uh, you don't need to download it separately or something it will automatically get downloaded okay so that was about the video uh, sorry audio separation so audio separation is going to take some time because it only completed six percentage now Normally it is it is pretty fast. I don't know why it is taking so much of time for for the scenario. OK. Now, for example, I want to I want to delete this. I want to delete this and I want to keep only this portion of the video right in my output. Right. Then what I can do is I. Going to delete this also. I'm going to keep only this. This one. OK, and. Now if, if you, for example, there are a lot of screens over here, isn't it? Uh, templates, you can have templates, you can have music, uh, et cetera, et cetera. There are some free music stuff available if you want to include that. You can see the um, stock that is that is not free. If you see the symbol, this is not free. This is free actually. For example, if you want to add this into video, I'm sorry, audio into into this, you can use that. OK. See the. Audio is there, OK? So that kind of free audio things are available within within this so you can go through the go through the audio options which are free and you can select one okay and stoke video options are available as well so free ones are free to use easy to use for example if i want to drag and drop some of the free versions of video uh, say you can see See the video is up here, OK? And if you want to keep this video on top of that, you can drag it like this. So <laughs> so if. So let me try to minimize this, OK? So what you can do is, for example, if you want to if you want to highlight this, OK? In the screen, you can change the positions like this, drag and drop, right? So that will that will change the preview of that. Okay, that is that is good option. And for example, if you want to make this in the front screen and make it as picture in picture, um, probably bottom left, you can see while playing this video. You can see the small screen video also. I don't know it is how much useful in technical kind of videos, but it is always helpful, right? Free free versions of these kind of videos are helpful. So add to my timeline, add to my media, subscribe. So this is another option, right? Uh, this is interesting option. So subscribe button <laughs> and all these are very interesting, right? So like subscribe. OK. I, I like this option. For example, if you want to add some of these free stuffs, right top of the stock, I think that that gives you a lot of options, right? If you want to kind of uh, ask your users to subscribe your videos at the end of the video, then this is nice effect. OK. I like it 
and um, this is another one where you can click on this to add to the timeline. OK, so in that you would be able to see. See, subscribe, like, <laughs> etc. Right? That's good. OK, so that is a video uh, templates and uh, stock images. There are a lot of images in the stock, right? Free to use images available. Uh, and if the images are getting added to the top of your timeline, then that is going to be visible. So you can arrange the image, make it small, right? Uh, by using this option, drag and drop the option. OK. So if you have many elements in your in your screen, you can use this kind of option. OK, Hope that is also useful and text option is also available. There are free text options. So if you add that text option, you can see uh, that will also go on top of everything in your timeline over here. You would be able to see right if I can. If I can kind of zoom in or yeah, zoom in and see this image text came here and text is over here. OK, and you can see. The text is here and you can edit the text and say HDMD. Or something like that, OK, and you can change the color of the text if you want. You can see I want to use this or I want to use black. OK. Use that option. For that text file. Okay. So there are a lot of text editing options available here and you can change the font also if you want for the text. See. And uh, I see. Let me check. Text and I'm going to change the color again. Primary color and I'm going to select blue, right? HTMT goes here. OK, so that is where how we can edit the text, etc. And um, you can have another kind of text also, right? For example, like this one. So again it is going to talk, going to the top of your timeline in the video editing part okay so if i select and if i say htm it will come over here and if i want to change the color of background color you can change it like this okay. that's that's also a good option somehow Right. So, for example, if I say, and it is going to give you option. Okay. So all these elements are kind of included this in the in the video editing software for free. So there are a lot of professional features included in this video editing software. So that is good actually with for the free edition, right? And GIF, you can add GIF also if you want. For example, right? uh, see if I click on this, you see a uh, GIF is added over here. But the GIF is not visible because the this is not the top of the LMF. So now it would be visible. Let's see. That is GIF is somehow it is not working. Probably let's check how this is working. Ah, GIF maybe. Let's try another. OK, that is stickers, right? So that is not um, GIF. Probably that is stickers. OK, so let's see how the GIF work. This one I'm I'm kind of. 
I don't want to. I'm, I, I see this is blocking the entire screen, so I'm going to delete that and um, let's keep only GIF for testing the GIF scenario. See how the GIF is working. I don't see the GIF coming. Maybe I'm missing something somewhere. OK. And there are overlay options available as well. That is also good, actually. So if you want to check the progress bar or set up the progress bar or something like that, you can use that also. See the below there was a progress bar, right? This was a progress bar. OK, so that came from this element that is also useful. OK, transformation. Close. This is also very, very useful. I use it um, too many year times actually. All right. So transformation is also useful. Okay. So you can try to use that. And for the brand brand kit, you need to have the subscription. Okay. The the paid version. And the other, the last thing I'm going to show in this video is about recording and uh, creating the screen recording option. So screen recording option is available here. And. And it is asking me to share the screen, right? Going to share the screen. Screen recording with audio option is available, right? So that is option available. Screen recording with camera recording is option available. Right? My camera is already used by Teams. That is why it is not visible. That's fine. So all these options are available. But there was a there was a warning here. Only the 30 minute screen recording is available. 30 minute is the limit. All right, in the screen recording. OK. So hopefully um, that the last one which I wanted to show is. The export, right? So export when you when you click on export over here after editing and click on export, it will it export. It will automatically uh, start. Exporting the video and once the video is ready, it will it will get downloaded automatically to your download folder and you can you can you have option to upload it directly to the youtube google drive tiktok linkedin etc etc right that option is also pretty good so hopefully this video was helpful to you and don't forget to put your comments feedback or in the in the comment section of the video thank you all for watching see you next time bye bye